Get everything you need for your holiday meal at Whole Foods Market. Right now, you'll find Animal Welfare Certified Rib Roast on sale. It's a deliciously crowd-pleasing centerpiece. Plus, save on spiral sliced ham, bone-in lamb, and seasonal produce like sweet potatoes and honey crisp apples. For ready-to-eat sides, head to the prepared food section. Done. And remember that Whole Foods Market caters. Order gourmet catering at shop.wfm.com. Bring the holiday magic with Whole Foods Market. If you've been struggling to fall asleep or stay asleep, try listening to a guided meditation tonight on the Sleep Meditation for Women podcast. Meditations are a natural, easy way to quiet your mind and relax your body so you can get the sleep you need. Every night, Sleep Meditation for Women provides a new episode from body relaxations to guided visualizations and even dedicated sleep sounds. Listen for free now by searching Sleep Meditation for Women on your favorite podcast player and begin sleeping better tonight. This is Optimal Health Daily, episode 2395, Why We Struggle to Live Healthy, by Stephen Geis of minihabits.com. And I'm Dr. Neil Malik. Welcome back to Optimal Health Daily, where I read to you from some of the most popular health and fitness blogs out there with permission from the websites, of course, and always with a bit of my commentary at the end. And with that, let's keep this intro nice and short and get right to the post as we optimize your life. Why We Struggle to Live Healthy by Stephen Geis of minihabits.com Growing up, were you bombarded with eat your vegetables, exercise every day, drink lots of water, and other such advice to live a healthy lifestyle? Did you have to eat your vegetables before you got dessert? Yeah, me too. It's good advice, but it's often delivered in a don't question this dogmatic style with accompanying pressure to follow it and guilt or shame if you don't do it. We hear these statements from parents, schools, and even the news, but then a paradoxical result follows. We become deaf to it, and we subconsciously rebel against it. What's freedom got to do with it? The common reason for this reaction is that we all desire to be free to make our own decisions and be our own persons. Heck, that's the core reason for all rebellions. So, when a universally accepted practice is shoved down our throats, we might be more inclined to choose to go our own way as a statement of independence. This isn't a logical decision, but an emotional one. In my teenage days, I actually did this with music. I looked around me and saw that everyone liked music. So, with so much pressure and pro-music dogma, I decided that I didn't like music. Take that, world. Eventually, I heard some catchy music and loved it, and now I'm a music freak like the rest of you whippersnappers. I can say that word because my beard has gray hair in it. Unfortunately, this human tendency can be harmful if it keeps us away from what's best for us. Desire is made counterintuitive by curiosity. If desire were logical, nobody would want to go into a forbidden room with locked chests. Why? Well, it's a lot easier to go into the non-forbidden rooms with open chests. Logic would say that we'd desire the easy access rooms because we could get in trouble for going in the forbidden room, and we might waste hours trying to get into those locked chests. But the curiosity of, why is that room forbidden? And why are the chests locked too? gives it a sense of intrigue and increased value. Dang, it's underwater. Let's just leave it there, thought no one as they all dove in headfirst. In the reverse way, I think that common wisdom is too often devalued for being common and freely available. Who hasn't heard to seize the day? That might be the best advice in the history of the world. Live your day to the max. But we've heard it so many times, we're like, yeah, yeah. We know that eating vegetables and exercising are the building blocks of good health, but we've heard it so much that it's become stale. That's worthy of tears because this ancient advice is extremely valuable and exciting when applied. How to reignite your passion to live healthy. The way to eat more broccoli is not to focus on eating broccoli is good for me. We covered how people rebel against broccoli and other things as an act of independence. The best way to go about getting back to the basics might be similar to my experience with music. I discovered music 
on my own, and then I embraced it. That's step one. Step one, discover it for yourself. If you've rebelled against vegetables ever since mom made you eat them before dessert, perhaps you need to research them yourself. Look up tasty recipes. Once you're accustomed to good, real food, things like candy start to lose their appeal. Seriously, I'll take a fresh mango over a chocolate bar every time. Find a vegetable that you love or learn to love one. From there, you can expand your tastes to other vegetables and soon enough, you might like the concept of vegetables more than you did. That's just the first step to live healthy as it appeals to your basic primal tastes. The next step is to fully engage your higher self with benefits. Step two, find the compelling benefits. If we fully understood the health benefits of a salad, I bet we'd all be eating more of them. The opposite goes for fast food. In a quick search, I found that broccoli has compounds like sulforaphane. Studies have found that sulforaphane kills cancer stem cells, and broccoli sprouts in particular have the highest known concentration of it. Cancer stem cells are essentially the heart of cancer. And suddenly broccoli and broccoli sprouts seem delicious. Broccoli also has other special compounds to help detoxify the body. It's also anti-inflammatory and contains a well-known cocktail of vitamins and minerals each with their own set of health benefits. How much more intriguing is that than eat broccoli because it's good for you? Yes, there is actually quite a bit of mystery in plain old broccoli. We don't fully understand this vegetable's unique compounds and all they might do for us internally. All we know is that everything we found out is really good news. We could be missing out on some amazing unknown broccoli health benefits. That makes it at least a little bit more appealing, doesn't it? The next thing you want to do is combine the first two steps to reframe the concept. So step three, reframe it to live healthy. Do you tend to frame good things in a vague, meaningless, or unappealing way? Exercise is a common case of poor framing because many of us see it as dreaded work that makes us feel tired and we have to fight our brain the whole time because it's telling us to stop and sit on the couch. But when you dig deeper into what exercise really is and what it does, it instantly becomes more appealing. Exercise is moving. That's it. You can move by just walking or running. You can move with some weight or resistance too. That doesn't sound so torturous, does it? To move? It sounds easy. Or do you view exercise like playing beach soccer and having the time of your life getting the same exercise benefit as begrudgingly running on a treadmill? and probably getting more benefit if you're playing beach soccer because sand running is difficult. Even if you don't live near a beach or have a favorite sport, you can find other ways to view exercise as fun. Watch your favorite TV show as you run on the treadmill. Try to have a good time. What exercise does for the body is fairly simple, yet exciting. Imagine your body as a road system. Transport cells need to get places to deliver goods and services, like vitamins, minerals, helping with repair, and so on. But when the traffic is a bit congested, it makes many of the cells late or no-shows to their destination. This would be seen in the form of health problems because your organs are not getting what they need to operate efficiently. Or your problem could be congestion itself in the main roads, meaning the arteries. Did you know that ischemic heart disease or poor blood flow to the heart is the number one cause of death in Western countries? That's not to scare you into exercising because research shows that method of reasoning doesn't work. What does work is reframing exercise into something appealing, easy, and fun. Exercise increases the speed of traffic inside your body while at the same time adding more lanes and roads to increase capacity and blood flow. This means more delivery cells can get through and they can do it faster. Deliveries are on time, repairs are completed in a timely manner, and operations are smooth. Exercise expands our blood vessels and increases our heart rate to move blood through faster. This is why it improves nearly every bodily function. When you exercise, you're helping nutrient delivery to every single organ in your body. It also helps your body rid itself of waste and toxins by the same means of increased blood flow. It makes your body a more efficient machine overall, and that's why we've been told so many times to get in some exercise every day. Those in great shape 
have lower resting heart rates because their bodies don't have to work as hard to do what they need to do. Since they are active and regularly expediting nutrient and waste processing, their body doesn't need to rush things. But when you're unhealthy and sedentary, your body is forced to try to expedite this process itself, which you can imagine is difficult when you're not moving at all. The heart itself is tasked with pumping blood harder and harder because it's too weak to get the job done in fewer pumps. This is a good visual image of what happens when you let your heart sit on the couch. You just listened to the post titled Why We Struggle to Live Healthy by Stephen Geis of minihabits.com. Get everything you need for your holiday meal at Whole Foods Market. Right now, you'll find Animal Welfare Certified Rib Roast on sale. It's a deliciously crowd-pleasing centerpiece. Plus, save on spiral sliced ham, bone-in lamb, and seasonal produce like sweet potatoes and honey crisp apples. For ready-to-eat sides, head to the prepared food section. Done. And remember that Whole Foods Market caters. Order gourmet catering at shop.wfm.com. Bring the holiday magic with Whole Foods Market. If I were to ask you to name four classic Christmas movies, could you answer in under 15 seconds? If the answer is yes, then you need to play Trivia Star. Trivia Star is a free mobile game with over 60 different categories to choose from, including music, TV, sports, and more. Plus, right now for the holiday season, enjoy limited time categories like Christmas movies and holiday songs. Play any time from your smartphone and expand your knowledge. And right now, Trivia Star is offering you 2,500 coins and 500 gems when you download and play, which come in handy if you get stuck on hard questions. I've sure enjoyed the extra points and gems because sometimes you need them, and trust me, the last thing you want is to stop playing. Trivia Star has thousands of five-star reviews in the App Store and is the number one trivia game on iPhone. Download it today to test yourself with over 10,000 trivia questions. Just go to the Apple or Google Store and search for Trivia Star. Download Trivia Star for free and train your brain today. Dr. Neil here for my commentary. So I've shared with you a way I've found helpful when reframing exercise. I'm human. That means there are days when I just don't feel like exercising. And yes, I'm aware that I have a doctoral degree in public health, I'm a personal trainer, and host this podcast where all we talk about are the benefits of all these things. But again, I'm human. And so there are days when I'm too tired, not motivated, don't quote unquote have the time and so on, just like everyone else. So to get out of that frame of mind and get myself to get off the couch, I remind myself how grateful I am to have the ability to work out, that I have a healthy enough body to actually move it in a meaningful way like this, that I'm able to move weights around, that I have access to a gym, to weights, to all of these wonderful things. Once I remind myself of all of this, I find that I'm no longer sitting on the couch, but rather pretty quickly I've made my way back into the gym. So try what works for you, but I completely agree with today's author, Stephen, in that reframing things matters a lot. Changing the way we think about a healthy diet and exercising and managing our stress can go a long way to motivating us to get going. All right, that'll do it for today. Thank you so much for being here. Thank you for sharing this show with someone. And don't forget, I'll be back here tomorrow for the usual Friday Q&A. So I'll see you there where your optimal life awaits.